Hi, I'm Marcy Dagman, the Aspiring Gardener, and today we're going to talk about reasons to hydroseed, plant from sod, or start a lawn from seed. Now, hydroseed is kind of a different method because it's done by a professional and it's done with equipment. So what you do when you hydroseed a lawn is you have someone come in and they have a large blower and what they do is they'll blow the seed with mulch, fertilizer, and everything that the seed needs already mixed in. So one of the benefits of doing that is that you can blow hydro seed onto a slope, areas that are very difficult to work with a tiller or anything else. Um, it still does require a certain amount of soil preparation ahead of time, but when you blow on the hydro seed, the mulch and the different materials that they use actually help it to pack and stay wherever it is. So if it's on a slope and it, you wet it down and it'll stay put. So I'd say one of the main reasons to use hydro seed is for difficult areas like that where it's hard to do the other methods. Um, it comes out about in the middle as far as cost. It is cheaper than sod, but of course it's going to be more money than seed. So hydro seed is really good for certain applications. Um, you do have to have it done by somebody else and it has to have equipment. Um, sod on the other hand can be done by the homeowner or by a, a landscape professional. Um, you've got a root system already, your grass is ready to go down, you do have to prepare the soil, but if you do that correctly and you keep it wet, it'll take root and you'll have an instant lawn. So that's probably the number one reason that people use sod. It is the most expensive method because of the fact that it is all ready to go. Um, the other disadvantage to using sod is that most areas will have sod with certain types of grass seed. You can't always choose the seed you want. You have to use the type of grass that's available in sod. So that's probably the two disadvantages. Now seed, on the other hand, is the cheapest method. It is the most labor intensive method that you could pick because you're going to do most of the work. Even if you have somebody come in and seed your lawn, you're gonna to have to take care of the seedlings and the seeds while they're germinating for a period of time. Um, you also have to make sure when hydro seeding or using seed that the ground is 60 degrees or warmer so that they'll germinate. With sod, you don't have to worry about germination, so sod can be put down any time of the year. Hydro seeding and seeding has to be done either in the spring or in the fall. If you do it in the middle of summer, you'll have to water a lot to keep them from drying up. So the biggest difference would be cost, maintenance, and availability of seed or of the type of sod that you want. So what you have to do is you have to weigh your, weigh your needs, weigh your budget, and make a decision whether to hydro seed, plant sod, or plant your lawn from seed.